absolutely disappointing and shocking, if I can say this, for her to speak so ill about the Prime Minister, about the Prime Minister's personal life, and about women in the BJP. Behen Mayavati, please be assured, we are all absolutely safe, secure, and have very good professional relationships in our party. You do not have to be worried about us, Behen Mayavati, when there is a Dalit Behen in Rajasthan waiting for all of us to stand up and speak for her, who is in extreme distress. Sometimes it makes me think if Behen Mayavati thinks that is she the only Dalit in her list of Dalits? Does she think that she is the only Dalit in this world? Has she spoken up for Dalit's cause? Even on instances which are happening in Uttar Pradesh. Rajasthan ke alwar mein hui Dalit mahila utpiran ki ghatna ko lekar, vaise Sri Narendra Modi chupi the. Lekin is ghatna par mere bolne ke turant baat se hai. Ab ye iski aar mein apni ghinoni ve ghirnit rajniti karne se bhi baaz nahi aar hai. Taaki iska chunaav mein inki party ko kuch rajniti klaab mil jaye, jo ati nindniye. वैति शर्मनाक भी है और वैसे भी ये दूसरों की बहन बेटियों की इज्जत करना क्या जाने जब ये अपने राजनीतिक स्वार्थ में अपनी खुद की बेकसूर पत्नी तक को भी छोड़ चुके हैं और इतना ही नहीं बल्कि मुझे तो ये भी मालूम हुआ है कि बीजेपी में खासकर विवाहित औरतें अपने आदमियों को श्री मोदी के नजदीक जाते देखकर ये सोचकर भी काफी ज्यादा घबराती रहती हैं कि कहीं ये मोदी अपनी औरत की तरह हमें भी अपने पतियों से अलग ना करवा दे नया टीवीएस रेडियो जियो बुलंद बढ़ो बुलंद और अब ऐसे में पूरे देश की महिलाओं से मेरा ये खास अनुरोध भी है कि वे इस किस्म के व्यक्ति को अपना वोट कतई भी ना दें जनता पार्टी की हमारी वरिष्ठ नेता भारत सरकार में मंत्री आदरणीय निर्मला सीतारमन जी आप लोगों को संबोधित करेंगी और हमारे साथ विजय सोनकर शास्त्री जी भी हैं उसके बाद वो भी कुछ अपने आज के बारे में कुछ अपना विषय रखेंगे पहले मेरा निर्मला जी से आग्रह है कि अपना संबोधन करें गुड इवनिंग I come, come here to comment on Behen Mayavati's statements. Behen Mayavati has been the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. She's somebody who's found her way in a very, very difficult circumstances. represents very strongly sections of the society which face difficulties, has held constitutionally very powerful position. For her to comment on the Prime Minister of India, not on ideological issues, not on issues which affect any political positions, but because he questioned her on speaking up for the Dalit cause, and because he questioned her as to why she did not take up the cause of the Dalit woman who suffered in Rajasthan, and even went to the extent of saying, shouldn't she be withdrawing the support she's giving for Rajasthan government, the Congress government in Rajasthan. I wished Behen Mayavati answered to reinforce the image that she has, or she wishes to have, of somebody who speaks for the oppressed classes of people. 
If she indeed wants to retain that position, she should have answered the Prime Minister. She should have answered why she did not speak up for the girl in Rajasthan who was raped, whose case did not get filed or an FIR did not get registered till such a time the elections were over. On the suggestion of the ruling Congress party there. If she indeed wants to speak up for the oppressed classes, she should have answered the Prime Minister as to what steps she has taken to speak up for the suffering girl. In fact, the Prime Minister said she should withdraw the support given to the Congress party, which for political consideration did not have the FIR filed. But absolutely disappointing and shocking, if I can say this, for her to speak so ill about the Prime Minister, about the Prime Minister's personal life, and about women in the BJP. Behen Mayavati, please be assured, we are all absolutely safe, secure, and have very good professional relationships in our party. You do not have to be worried about us, Behen Mayavati, when there is a Dalit Behen in Rajasthan waiting for all of us to stand up and speak for her, who is in extreme distress. Sometimes it makes me think if Behen Mayavati thinks that is she the only Dalit in her list of Dalits? Does she think that she is the only Dalit in this world? Has she spoken up for Dalit's cause even on instances which are happening in Uttar Pradesh? Has she spoken or commented on that Dalit in West Bengal who faced oppression? In fact, I would like to ask Behen Mayavati, does she at all speak for Dalits? And when Prime Minister asked this question and demanded that she withdraw her support to the Congress government in Rajasthan, having been in politics for a long time, having held the position of Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, and being asked by the Prime Minister, she should have given a professional political answer and not reveal her worry, her anxiety that the Gatbandan, Maha Gatbandan is getting nowhere. Six phases of election are over, clearly, having been in politics for some time. Behen Mayavati has understood that her Gatbandan, her alliance is getting nowhere. And that's the reason for her worry, her agitation, her sense of insecurity. And at that time, for the Prime Minister to rightly ask her a question, which only demands a fair answer to be given. Is she in favor of this girl or not in Rajasthan? Will she stand up for her cause or not? Will she take up this case with the Congress party or not? Will she withdraw the support because Rajasthan Congress government wanted to push this case under the carpet and kept it pending without even an FIR in the police station. Will she answer that or not? Instead, what she's done today by talking about the Prime Minister and his personal life and about all of us women who are absolutely safe in the BJP, she's only revealed that she's imminently facing a political failure. And as a result, I think she's only demeaned the stature of her own leadership, forgotten the stature of the positions that she's held, and only because of this comment shows that she has no respect left for any position or institution in this country. She should really apologize for having commented so badly, both on the private life of the Prime Minister and ob about, in general, about all women in BJP, but simultaneously, equally, at the same time, forgetting that girl in Rajasthan, that Dalit girl in Rajasthan, 
who is waiting for justice. Thank you.